Good morning, everyone. I'm Jeff Hood with Hood Company Real Estate, powered by Keller Williams, the number one name in real estate. I hope you have a wonderful day. If we can help you with your real estate needs, check us out online at hoodcompanyhome.com. From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your weather today. Hey folks, good morning to you. Ben Luna here with you in the Tennessee Valley Weather Center wishing you a terrific Thursday as you check out this forecast update. By the way, your weather today being brought to you as a service of our good friend Jeff Hood down at Hood Company Real Estate in Lawrenceburg. Here over the next few minutes, we've got a lot to talk about. Helene will be working its way into the Tennessee Valley region as we move through this evening. That's going to linger here into tomorrow and provide our area with quite a bit of rainfall over the course of the next couple of days. We'll break all that down for you, give you the who, what, where, and when right here in this weather update. With that said, let's hop right into it. Here's a check on satellite and radar. This is over the past 24 hours. Notice that major hurricane now working its way well into the Gulf region that is also going to be interacting with a cold front that has been draped across the southeast here for the past day. And then once the system pulls its way on into the southeast, well, that's where things will get interesting for us, especially later tonight and then on into tomorrow. Here's a look at Futurecast. Now, there's not going to be a lot of stuff to happen here before lunchtime today, mainly clouds. We will have an east breeze today between 10, maybe 15 at times. You'll notice maybe a pop-up shower around the midday, very small rain chance. But as we start to move into the afternoon and evening hours, well, that's where things start to become a little bit more interesting. Showers and some embedded thunderstorms will be possible. And then late tonight, through the early morning hours of Friday, get ready. There's a lot of rainfall on the way to our area. In fact, we're looking ballpark three to five inches of rainfall beginning this evening and continuing into your Friday. Breezy conditions locally in the ballpark 20 to 30 miles per hour. Keep in mind a lot of that really severe wind staying to our south this go around and really not expecting a local tornado threat for our area because we're going to be on the western side of the remains of that hurricane as it pushes through the southeast. More often than not, then you see the uh, severe weather being on the eastern side of those kind of storm systems. Western side, mainly just rain, and that's what we're going to see here. Not that we won't have some decent wind gust at times, the more severe weather will stay off to our east in this case. But because of the interaction of that cold front and that system working its way into the southeast, that's where we'll maintain a rain chance here pretty much straight through Monday. Here's the overall forecast rain totals for the area. And notice because of the track of what will be the remains of Helene as it moves through our area, we're going to pick up an average of really four inches of rainfall across the board in most of our viewing area. Folks to the south of the Tennessee River may be a little bit less, between two and a half and three inches. Now these numbers could fluctuate just a little bit depending on the final track of that system, but forecast guidance has been pretty, pretty accurate here over the past couple of days that we're in store for one big gully washer across the area. Breaking down your day builder forecast from Parks Lumber Company today, for the most part dry this morning, maybe some scattered stuff by the midday, and then plenty of rain here overnight tonight through tomorrow. That's going to keep temperatures at bay with many of you seeing highs only in the 70s. And again, showers and a few embedded thunderstorms will be with us overnight tonight. Some gusty wind through tomorrow. Temperatures on the cooler side, 72 Friday, about the same goes for Saturday. Keep in mind, rain chances are with us straight through Monday. I don't think that's a continual rainfall, more along the lines of scattered activity that's kind of come in waves for us. And that's something we'll keep eyes on for you, but really that's going to add a little bit more to the rainfall totals as we move through the weekend. The bulk of that precip will fall between tonight and tomorrow morning, and I think that's going to make for a very, very wet commute, to say the least, on Friday. I would be concerned with some flash flooding in the area for tomorrow morning, and of course that's something we'll all be watching here at the Tennessee Valley Weather Center. Stepping out of the way, check out the end of the seven-day forecast. Notice things dry out Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Temperatures remain cool. Highs in the 70s, lows at night in the 50s. Kelly is here at noon. Fred Gossage live at 5 on the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel.